Come Thanksgiving and Christmas, we have our biggest meals. How will you be eating on those days? Will you be eating a bit of everything, but just not overeating? What do you do to help ensure you don't spiral from one day of eating off? It's a really great question. It's interesting because I actually get together with my family about every Saturday lunch. And it's almost like every Saturday lunch in my family, it is Thanksgiving. Like it's actually, there's 20 different dishes on the table. There's like four different courses. Um, so I can totally relate. And I literally have to navigate this constantly with large family meals of multiple courses where there's like four or five dishes at each course. And it does kind of feel like eating off, but I, you always have to find yourself in it. So you're never off. You're always navigating it in a way that's serving you and your body best. And it's eating different, but it doesn't have to be eating off. Um, so the way I approach something like Thanksgiving or a big family style meal, right, that goes on for hours is very similar to just really using my more sure model, right? So I like to drink a lot of water going into these events, right? Like the whole time before, like I want to make sure like I'm hitting my water goal before I even go there, even if dinner is quote unquote starting at three or 4 p.m. and this is my goal for the day, like I wanna make sure I'm hitting that goal a little earlier, I'm really on top of it because water really helps suppress that like urgent feeling of hunger. And I wanna go in feeling like satisfied to the best of my ability, refreshed, focused. Uh, I love to bring a dish. I love to bring a salad, okay? Um, you never want to rely on other people to have it. You can, you can ask the host, what are you making? But again, there's gonna be so many things there. You bring in a really pretty like kale salad with some roasted sweet potato, pomegranate seeds, like pine nuts. It looks like really fall and festive and beautiful. It's such a nice thing to add to the table that everyone can enjoy, but you know that you have something that you can fill up on. So I really recommend in my book, you can drop it. I have this like sweet spaghetti squash recipe that's great as a Thanksgiving side. Um, I just posted a recipe on Instagram for like this sweet peanut dressing that goes great over like bok choy, shredded cabbage. Like you can make that like really beautiful with craisins and pine nuts. Bring a beautiful veggie side. You could do my bacon and Brussels recipe from the To Be Mindset recipe book. I have a bacon and date cabbage salad also in my book. Like these are delicious, scrumptious, satisfying, comforting sides that you can really make your main. So all the time you're sitting in front of your plate, you are filling up. If you're eating a lot more than usual, at least you're still filling up on veggies most in a way that is satisfying you and your body. So again, you're not quote unquote off feeling ugh, sluggish afterwards because you ate so differently. You ate, you know, mildly differently, mildly more. And it's so much easier to quote unquote, get back on track the next day because you didn't fall too far off the track to begin with. You know, uh, people always ask me like, Alana, how did you bounce back so fast after your baby? Listen, first of all, I still have plenty of pounds to go, but at the same time, the same token, I didn't bounce so far. So when you don't bounce so far away, you don't have to bounce, like stress out about bouncing back. And that's really how it goes. You know, everyone says on track, off track. I like to use the analogy of you're a boat going from one island to the other island. Okay. And sure, it's most efficient if you go in a straight line from the island to the second island in a straight line, just navigate all the winds. There's no ripples and there's no storm. There's nothing. You just go one line. You could probably get from one island to the other in three hours and it would be great. But wind happens. You, your sail does go off course a little bit. It does rain. It does storm. But you know what? You just pick up those sails and you and you do it. So maybe it's not a three hour course from island to island, maybe it's a four and a half hour course, but you will still get there. And when you realize that it's just the wind that you know takes you off path momentarily, you realize that you can get back on and you're still there. Um, this on track, off track, if you think about how fast the train goes, if you really fall off a train track, it's really not easy to jump back on. Um, so I think we kind of have to give ourselves a little grace in the analogy and realize that Thanksgiving will be what it'll be. It might be 
a little more, it might be a lot more food. It might be a lot more dishes. It might be a lot more temptations. But when you really take up the real estate of your stomach with lots of water first, lots of greens on your plate, sure, there's room for, you know, you want to make sure you have that lean turkey protein there. And of course, there's some room for, you know, the pumpkin pie or the marshmallow sweet potatoes and all these things. But again, really try to fill that plate at least half with veggies most. And that way, sure, there's little bites and nibbles and space for these treats and sweets that you're looking forward to, but they're not taking up your whole plate, okay? And you will end up eating so much less of that when you make your first bite veggies. You have lots of variety of like, I have a recipe for spiced caramelized carrots. I have, you know, like just make these delicious things because they're colorful, they're vibrant, they're flavorful, and they pair really nicely with the turkey with the family, you know, with your tablescape, with the season. So please don't overlook that. You're in a a habit and palate of eating really clean, delicious veggies, most meals. So even when you go into Thanksgiving, if this is your first Thanksgiving that you're going into with a weight loss mindset, it's interesting when you go in water first and you're filling up on those veggies most and you're thinking, God, I you got to eat that stuffing. That's that butter stuffing that, you know, there's four sticks of butter. It's so worth it. I look forward to it every year. It's interesting. What starts to happen is you actually have some bites of it and it doesn't hit the same way. It doesn't feel, it doesn't remind you to be like as delicious and it be open to those shifts taking place because when they happen, it's really exciting. Um, and you want to go with it and realize you actually do crave more veggie filled dishes that actually suit you and, and, and you, that you enjoy. So when everyone says, Oh, but I made this for you. You have to eat this, take this home as leftovers. You can really kindly say, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm doing great. Like it was delicious. Can't wait to see you next year. Ain't like aunt's Bob, you know, whatever it is. So really stay strong, go in with the plan. And again, wind might take you a little off course, but don't go too far <laughs> because honestly, it's not going to feel good. Like you're just going to end up like feeling so sluggish and with such a tummy ache and and, not, and disregarding bros, roasted Brussels sprouts and delicious kale salads and, you know, roasted carrots and all these wonderful dishes would be so unnecessary, you know? Um, I actually have a great, if you have access to Beachbody Interactive, I have a really good roasted vegetable medley coming out that it looks like a root vegetable winter medley, but it's all veggies. Because a lot of times people roast, you know, winter vegetables, but there's a lot of parsnip on there, which I consider a fiber filled carbohydrate. It's actually much higher in calories than something like a zucchini. Um, it tends to have a lot of like acorn squash and butternut squash and sweet potato in it. And while they're all wonderful root vegetables with, you know, packed with nutrients, they're not necessarily veggies in the 50 calorie or less per cup range that I like to keep the quote unquote veggies in. So this roasted vegetable medley recipe I have coming out uses rutabaga, it uses turnip, it uses kohlrabi, which is great. So definitely be open to using some of these really delicious veggie recipes. If you see the veggie list in my To Be Mindset pamphlet within my book, I, you know, it's kind of everywhere. Look through that list. There's okra, there's kohlrabi, and be inspired when you start making your menus for Thanksgiving and Christmas on how you can be veggies most in really fun and creative and delicious ways. Fennel is delicious. Roasted fennel, mm, so good. Um, so really enjoy those wonderful flavors this Thanksgiving and know that you can do this. I've heard so many people say that they lost weight over Halloween and it blew their mind. You can actually lose weight over Thanksgiving week. Maybe not the next day you'll see a weight loss just because it's more salt or it's a little bit more, but you know, for the week, you might be surprised that you could stay the same over Thanksgiving or perhaps even go down a pound that week. And just so you know, the next day I have our next diet bet starting. So whatever happens, I'm there for you. And we're starting together again. I'm signing up for that next one. We are, we are keeping this year strong. The year is not over. 2021, it's our comeback year. It's our rebound year. We are finishing this year strong. So please join me. Sign up now so you already have that accountability that you're doing it. And you might not like panic as much about Thanksgiving because you know you're, you're in it to get back on track the next day. Um, and I'm excited to continue on with that.